Hey, when was the last time that uh, somebody said, I promise you, have you heard that recently? <laughs> how, long did, uh, how, how long did that promise last? You know, it seems like today um, we are long on promises, but uh, short on keeping. And I'm thinking this through. I'm not ready to kind of jettison and throw out the whole promise keeping process. I mean, there are banks and, and brides and, and some folks won't look at you twice unless there uh, is a strong promise. But, but what can help us keep our promises longer? You know, I began to dig deeper and I realized it's got to be more than just my willpower or, or my winsomeness, you know. Um, listen to this ancient scripture. Uh, God's divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness through our knowledge of him. That's powerful. You know, I begin to think about a lot of folks, past and present, who live that way. And history shows, that history has their record of, of promise keeping. You know, and I read through the Bible about men and women, and, and, and they lived under the same strains of promise keeping that you and I do. And yet when they thrived, they pointed back to their trust in God's power or, or maybe to one of his promises. You know, I'm fortunate to have around me some really God-empowered mentors who make promise-keeping lifestyles pretty compelling. Hey, that's pause and pivot. Are you still in on promise-keeping? Do you want to be? Promise? If you got questions, you want to talk more, hit that contact coach button. Let's connect up.